Hi there, welcome to Houston DIY, my name is Ben. In this video, we're cooking this brisket on the Ninja Woodfire Grill. Okay, so we did a previous video on the unboxing of the Ninja Woodfire. This video, we're cooking, so we've got some brisket here, part of a brisket from Tesco, just under one kilo of brisket. Watched a few recipes online, uh, cooking with CJ and a couple of other guys from the US looked really good in terms of what they were doing with theirs. So I've kind of merged a couple of recipes or methods together to do ours that I'm going to do, uh, which I'll step through in a minute. I'm going to make a rub for it as well, give it a, a good rub um, with some herbs and spices and then obviously get it on the grill. So next up, we'll get out of this packaging and get it rubbed down. Okay, so I'm gonna prep the rub now. Um, I'm gonna make quite a big batch in this bowl and I'm gonna put it into an airtight container just because I'll use it for the beef and I'll probably use it for some pork as well. Um, so I've looked through a few different recipes. I've found a few online and kind of merged them together again to make my own. So I'm gonna go with some brown sugar. First of all. So I'm gonna go with, so this is just dark brown sugar. I'm going to go with 120 grams of this. Okay, that's my sugar in. So it's 120 grams of sugar. Next up, we have got, let me just check my recipe. Here I've got 120 grams of paprika. That sounds like a lot of paprika. We'll see what it's like. I'm going with 100 grams. Uh, next up, uh, two tablespoons of coarse, um, coarse black pepper. So not gr finely ground. This is coarse stuff. So a couple of tablespoons. So one, two. So two tablespoons of the black pepper. Uh, next up, we've got some garlic powder. I'm going with garlic granules rather than the powder. Next up, we've got some onion granules. So again, two, same as the garlic, I've got two tablespoons. I'm not used in a while, so I'll have fine. So obviously salt, you've got to be really careful with salt. I'm not putting too much salt into these. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about two teaspoons of salt in, that's all. And these are going with just some Cornish sea salt flakes in there. Okay, so obviously cooking for kids as well. I don't want it too spicy, too hot. So I'm gonna go with a teaspoon of cayenne. And I'm gonna go for a teaspoon of chili powder. So as a ratio within that mix, it's not that much at all. So you can see, hopefully there, I've got that there. So all I'm going to do now is just mix that to combine it. Okay, so I've got a massive batch done there, it's tons there. Um, so it's quite, obviously with the sugar in there, um, it will be quite good with pork as well as, as beef. I 
probably won't use too much on the beef with it being quite sweet. I don't want to over sweeten the beef. Um, and when we're doing a brisket, it doesn't need that much on anyway. It's more about cooking the meat uh, and getting that taste of meat. It's hot to try and create that kind of bark on the top of the on top of the beef uh, with the rub and with the smoke from the ninja wood fire. So next up, I'll get I'll tie up a little bit here, and we'll get some of the um, some of this rub popped onto that brisket. Okay, so I've got the beef uh, on the plate here. It's been uh, padded down. We've got the rub. Um, I'm just gonna use some sunflower oil, just some spray sunflower oil, just to create that bind. Um, I was gonna try the rapeseed, but I've got this in the cupboard. I don't think it really matters, it's just to bind that um, obviously mixture onto there. So I'm gonna give it, give it a bit of a spray, and then just sprinkle some of this rub over the top of it. Again, I'm not gonna go with too much of the rub, I don't want it too much on there. Uh, but yeah, I'll spray this first, and then put the rub on. Okay, so that's the rub on there. It went on really well with that spray. It was almost like a sun cream part putting that on. Uh, but again, it, it's not for flavour or anything like that. It's just to create a bit of a bind for the rub. Rub looks great. So we're gonna head outside now. We're gonna get the Ninja Wood Fire up and running. The plan is, the very uh, high level plan, I'm gonna uh, load up the Ninja with the pellets. Um, we're gonna put it to about 120 on smoker. Um, I'm gonna run through it through preheat with the meat in, so we're gonna put them straight in, let it go through preheat, get some smoke in there, about 120 degrees for about 45 minutes, and then we're gonna load up some more pellets, another 45 minutes. We're gonna put these into some foil, probably with a little bit of a beef stock mix, wrap them up and put them back on for about another hour. So that's kind of the plan, but we'll get outside and we'll get cracking. Okay, we're back inside after doing the cook. Actually, yesterday, it's the day after. Um, so the cook went well. Um, I didn't get that much footage after I'd cooked it because I ate it um, and didn't really film much when I was eating it because um, we had people around as well, so it was a bit awkward filming. Um, but yeah, overall, the brisket came out really well. Really smoky flavour. Um, obviously, from them two smoking sessions at the beginning of the cook, infused it with tons of smoke. Um, so you did really get that, that smoky flavour. Obviously the rub that I used in there obviously brought even more flavour into it. That was a really, really good rub um, in terms of the flavouring it built throughout the, throughout the meat. Um, so really impressed with that brisket. Um, I think the, the downside of the brisket was the one that I used. So the one I get from Tesco, in the, in the UK from Tesco. Um, obviously isn't the best quality of cut of brisket probably. And I'm not sure, because obviously it's not a full brisket, I'm not actually sure which part of the brisket it is. I always try and work out kind of where, what they serve and how they roll it 
where the fat is, if you can work out where it is, but I never can, because I don't know enough about the meat really to, to work it out that well. Um, so yeah, I will try and one day get a better cut of brisket from a, from a farm shop or a butcher's, um, just to see if it does make a difference, because at the end of the day with brisket, you do cook it low and slow. Um, so it is a, more about the way you cook it, because I guess if you bought a more expensive cut of meat, you could ruin it anyway by cooking it wrong. Um, so yeah, overall really good. I just wanted to show you one thing because it is uh, something from the normal Ninja Air Fryer that we've got um, that does annoy me because the baskets, you can't dishwasher. You can dishwasher the trays inside but not the basket. So obviously with this you can wipe it down the outside around the edges and stuff. So the trays that do come out, so you've got the drip tray and the grill tray. Literally, I took them off the, uh, the grill last night put them into the dishwasher on a normal dishwasher wash and it came up absolutely perfect. Um, so it washed really well. Um, and I didn't use any uh, metal, ut uh, metal utensils, is that the right word? Um, any metal tools on it so I didn't scratch it for this non-stick, it's lovely non-stick surface. And again, the drip tray, it did collect some fat and stuff in there that had dripped through. Um, and again, we put that straight in the dishwasher and cleaned really. I think I scraped out just some of the big lumps that had like gone hard and put them in the bin, uh, but there were plenty of residue, residue left in the bottom of there, so they cleaned really, really well. Really impressed with them. So hopefully, like the Ninja, other the Ninja Air Fryer, um, the stuff inside of there, the non-stick uh, material has lasted really well. I'm hoping it's the same with this one. I will be super careful with it. I won't use metal tools on it to scrape it. Um, use uh, silicon tongs most of the time anyway, just to lift and shift stuff. But yeah, just wanted to show you one wash in the dishwasher, absolutely spotless. Okay, so that has been uh, our first cook video on the Ninja Woodfire Grill. We've cooked that brisket. Um, hopefully it's been a good video in terms of seeing the grill in use, what you can do with it. Um, it is new for me as well in terms of doing that method of smoking and then cooking in the foil on a grill. Usually with brisket, it would be in like a chili or a stew or something with a, like a casserole with sauce. Uh, so it's the first time I've cooked brisket away from a sauce and it went put really well. Um, apologies, there weren't much footage of it afterwards, um, but I did get some footage as I was cutting it up and obviously when we were cooking. Um, so if it's been a good video, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a dislike, give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comments why. Any questions about the grill, about the brisket, about the cook, Anything at all, drop it in the comments section. I will get back to all questions and comments. If you want to follow this journey along with the Ninja Woodfire Grill or our other DIY videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.